Hello and welcome to Hollywood at Home from Arizona Public Media. I'm Victoria Lucas. Tonight, we are delighted to present the 1979 adventure film, The Black Stallion, based on the beloved children's book by Walter Farley. It's the story of a young boy named Alec who survives a fiery shipwreck off the coast of North Africa and finds himself stranded alone on a deserted island with a wild Arabian stallion. Finally rescued by a passing ship, Alec returns with the horse to his newly widowed mother and a chance meeting with a retired jockey that leads to, well, you'll see. This is not a kid's movie. It's a magical film for all ages. Producer Francis Ford Coppola was in Sicily making The Godfather Part II when he asked his film school classmate, director Carol Ballard, to read the novel of The Black Stallion with a view of working on it together. At first, Ballard was reluctant to take it on, saying later, I wanted to make an epic, the next war and peace. But after some thought, I realized there's a mythical element in this book. Every child dreams of having a powerful friend who will make him powerful. And that's what's in this story, the classic character in the form of a black horse. Before that story could be told, however, Ballard would have to find both the horse and the right young actor to play a boy who bonds with a wild stallion. Ballard interviewed dozens of professional children without finding the magic, so he broadened his search to include newcomers who could be right for the role. In walked Kelly Reno, the child of Colorado ranchers who had convinced his father to drive him to Denver for an audition. He had never considered acting. He didn't even like movies very much. But he had grown on the back of a horse, and his natural manner, along with his freckle-faced charm, won him the role. To play his mother, Ballard chose Terry Garr, fresh from her success in Close Encounters of the Third Kind, and the retired jockey and trainer who helps Alex and the stallion turn a new page is played by Mickey Rooney in an Oscar-nominated performance. With the major humans for the movie now in place, the director and producer turned their attention to the stallion who'd be saddled with the title role. After an exhaustive talent search, the filmmakers found Cassolet, a champion Arabian show horse from Texas, with the beauty, intelligence, and responsive temperament they needed. But a show horse is not necessarily a movie horse. So Cassolet was promptly shipped off for acting lessons with trainer Corky Randall, whose father had trained Trigger for Roy Rogers. Randall quickly saw the horse's potential, saying, Cass loved to be around people, and he loved to show off. He was almost human, with the most expressive face. And while Cassolet once or twice required a trick horse, dyed black, to act as a stunt double, the lion's share of the performance is pure Cassolet. As you might expect, the black stallion with its shipwreck, deserted island, and wide-ranging horse sequences is not only a wonderful adventure film, it's also an absolute visual treat due to the work of cinematographer Caleb Deschanel. But as they say, he had his work cut out for him. Filming began in Toronto on July 4th, 1977, then moved to Sardinia in Italy for the island sequences. The scenery was spectacular, but it was a tough shoot. For one thing, the remote location allowed few, if any, creature comforts. The cast and crew were lodged in an empty school with only cold water in the showers. They had to carry their heavy equipment hundreds of feet up steep mountainsides. 
and it was impossible to obtain a professional tracking vehicle to mount the camera on for running shots as the boy learns to ride the horse. So the cinematographer found a battered old Citroën 2CV, the French version of a Volkswagen Beetle, removed the doors and seats, climbed in with the camera, and used the car to race up and down the beach next to the horse at speeds up to 30 miles an hour. Filming concluded with three weeks of night work in the huge outdoor water tank at Rome's Cinecita Studios for the complicated and terrifying shipwreck sequence. But once Ballard finished editing the movie, a problem arose. The studio couldn't figure out what to do with it. Ballard remembered, the execs came to see me saying, what is this, uh, some sort of art movie for kids? They simply didn't get it. Luckily, producer Francis Ford Coppola had the clout to take the reins. The Black Stallion debuted at the New York Film Festival in October 1979 and quickly became a box office hit, earning two Oscar nominations in the process, including one for Mickey Rooney. So now, please sit back and enjoy the movie that critic Pauline Kael said, creates an enchanted atmosphere like being carried on a magic carpet. You don't want to come down. From 1979, it's The Black Stallion. <laughs> 